as the wife of our future monarch, the Duchess of Cambridge was assumed to be Queen Bee of the Turnip Toffs who live near Ranmer Hall, the country home she shares with Prince William and their children in Sandringham, Norfolk. Friends claim there is, however, a rival to her rural crown, she is Rose, the ex-model married to their neighbour, the Marquess of Colmendilly. On the face of it, it's bizarre, but Kate seems to see Rose as a rival, claims one of their aristocratic set in East Anglia. The reasons for the alleged competition remain unclear, but there is no doubt the two couples have become close friends since the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were given Anmer Hall by the Queen as a wedding present. Rose Hanbury, who turned 35 yesterday, married the filmmaking Marquis, David Roxovich, in 2009. He is 23 years her senior and friends had almost given up hope that he would ever marry. Rose soon produced an heir and spare, in the form of twins Alexander and Oliver. Like Kate, she has since given birth to a third child, Iris. While Kate and William stay at 10-bedroom Anger, which was previously rented out to a kitchen timber boss, the Marquis and Marchioness of Colmanilly live in splendor two miles away at Houghton Hall one of the country's finest Palladian houses, surrounded by 1,000 acres of parkland. Should Rose need any advice on handling tensions, she has only to ask her husband. As Lord Great Chamberlain, David became an expert in treading hazardous paths while walking backwards in front of the Queen at the state opening of Parliament. Joe Wood in a Zulu quest Once married to a rolling stone, Joe Wood has led a colorful life. Now, Ronnie Wood's ex-seeking ancestors with even more fascinating stories. Former Strictly contestant Joe wants to appear on the BBC's genealogy program Who Do You Think You Are? I would love to dig into my Zulu roots, says Joe, 64, whose great-grandmother was a mixed-race South African. Speaking at the launch of her daughter Leah's environmental photography exhibition at Re Center in Hammersmith, she adds, when the Stones played Johannesburg, I invited 25 cousins to the show. It was so funny, we're all different colors. Prince Charles Hush Hush talks with Chef Jamie. Jamie Oliver, who publicly complained that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle rejected his offer to cook for their wedding, has been handed a royal olive branch. I hear that Prince Charles invited the outspoken television chef to his London residence, Clarence House, for talks this week. Royal officials declined to disclose what was discussed at the private meeting, but a source tells me the prince is keen for Oliver to be involved in future royal projects. A spokesman points out that Charles held the tete-a-tete -tete in his capacity as patron of the Soil Association, which campaigns for organic food. Oliver said of his royal wedding snub, I did write and say if they want the food sorted I would bring the best of British and American chefs together to do the catering. I didn't get a reply. At least Charles is more courteous. Filmmaker Vaughn cast sold school stolen movie. Matthew Vaughn, who made his name as producer of Guy Ritchie's Cockney Crime Caper Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels, credits his success to his expensive education at Stowe School. And the husband of supermodel Claudia Schiffer, Wright, has said a very public thank you by returning to the £36,660 per year boarding school in Buckinghamshire to shoot scenes for the latest film he's directing, Kingsman 3. Stars including Ralph Fiennes, Charles Dance and Tom Hollander descended on Vaughn's alma mater, which is based at Stowe House, the former country seat of the Dukes of Buckingham and Chandos. The two previous Kingsman spy films, described as James Bond on steroids, have been criticized for their raunch and violence, but headmaster Dr. Anthony Wallersner was delighted to welcome back Vaughn. A spokesman tells me, Stowe is renowned for its liberal education and tradition, and lack of censorship. A distinguished actor who appeared in films including The Eagle Has Landed and The Elephant Man before playing John Aaron in Game of Thrones, John Standing is also a talented artist. And The Thespian, 84 is to show off his paintings at Osborne Studio Gallery in Belgravia next month. I was going to be an artist, but my mother told me I needed to earn money, so I entered her profession, says John, whose mother, Kay Hannand, played Elvira in the Noel Coward film Blythe Spirit. The pictures are scenes from Standing's travels. But he won't be standing around admiring them for long, 
Next up he's in Rupert Everett's Uncle Vanya at the Theatre Royal Bath. Very, modern manners. Wolf whistling an attractive young woman has become a mortal sin in today's politically correct climate, but what if the calls are directed at a man? Paul Cretudinous actress Charity Wakefield, 38, was alarmed to hear the supposedly offensive sounds while she was on the set of Bounty Hunters, the Sky One comedy drama in which she stars opposite comedian Jack Whitehall. We were filming, and some builders wolf whistled, which I thought was aimed at me, Charity reveals. But it was for Jack. She adds, Jack is so famous, but he doesn't mind being the butt of a joke. 